Hello and welcome to another Expert Insight interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine and Pipeliner CRM joining you as usual from San Diego. And today I am joined by Terry Barrage who is in a place called Druin, Australia. And that's uh, to say a little way outside of Melbourne. How are you doing, Terry? Very well, thank you. Excellent. And Terry is a keynote speaker, self-esteem architect. And that's what we wanted to focus in today on the self-esteem architect piece, because I know a lot of people out there in our audience are sales people, sales leaders, people who are under a lot of pressure. Uh, it's Q4 for a lot of people. A lot of people work off calendar uh, fiscal. So it's Q4 for a lot of people. Um, there's a lot of pressure. It's been an unbelievably tough year for many people in many uh, business segments, as we know, thanks to the pan pandemic. So what I wanted to discuss with Terry today is, okay, if you're, maybe if you're having a hard time um, serving, maybe you're getting a lot of pressure as a sales leader, maybe you're starting to lose confidence, maybe your self-esteem is kind of at, a, at an all-time low or certainly close to it, what are some of the things you can do to build yourself back up and get yourself on track for, for Q4? So, so Terry, you... Uh, when somebody starts to go through a tough time like this, when confidence wanes, when self-esteem starts to go down, what are some of the ways they can start to, to maybe rebuild? Sure, John. It's, it's really interesting because I, I think uh, we, we all go through a variety of emotions, um, uh, through, sometimes through, through a normal day, let alone weeks and months. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, and, and the downer is, is something that we, we go through. I think it's, it's, it's a normal part of our lives. We've, I think the first thing is to accept the fact that you're human and <laughs> a lot of us tend to get so busy, we, we, we forget that. We're, we're just so busy just trying to, to, to tread water and, and make life uh, work the way we'd like it to work. So I think accepting it's, it's, it's a thing is, uh, okay, I'm having a little bit of a downer today. And what can I do to lift myself? Uh, now, now, obviously, there's, there's a myriad of things that we can do uh, to lift ourselves. And, and uh, uh, probably the thing I like the most is, is to try and have a sense of humour. Uh, and, and a good way of, of, of doing that is to try and find somebody else with a similar sense of humour that you can share something with. Or, or a good friend that you can just you know, bounce a silly idea off of and have a good laugh about it. Uh, even if you've got, um, uh, like, my dad's blind. And so, mm. you know, the first jokes that come up out of his mouth are sight-related jokes, you know. Oh, I can see what you mean, you know, right, and those yeah. sorts of things. So, so you know, he's, he's looking at the humorous side of, of his disadvantage. Uh, so yeah. anything like that, I think, is, is a great thing. Uh, that, I mean, there's lots of... Find a little yeah. project that you can get your teeth into. It's something that you really love doing, even if it's just your hobby. Put work aside for an hour. But I think, I, mean, I, think yeah, that's a, I think that's a great point that you make about, about humour and finding somebody else who maybe shares a sense of humour. Because sometimes that's really kind of what you need is just to be lifted out of the moment or even to laugh at the circumstance. It's one thing, I mean, I'm originally from Ireland and that's one thing that people always comment about is, you know, the Irish, we have a very, uh, you know, we find humor in everything, you know, and, yeah. and I say, yes, it's, it comes out of a, it comes out of a, a history of, of suffering. So, you know, we, in order to survive, you got to find a way to laugh at it. And, uh, but I do think there's an application there and that sometimes, sometimes you just got to laugh, right? Mm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it, and it lifts your spirit so much. It's it's almost inspirational because I, uh, apparently the the professors reckon it changes your your molecules inside your endorphins or whatever it is that's inside you and 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 that gives you a positive spin on life and and uh, yeah it makes and, you, uh, and I think yeah. also it and I think it also it kind of takes a little bit of power away from the situation because if you have if you're able to laugh at it. It does. It, it doesn't. Okay, the overarching issue may still be there, but it doesn't seem as insurmountable. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, I mean, and particularly uh, in sales, there can be a lot of pressure. Uh, you know, uh, particularly in these hard times. So it's it's if you've got a, a mate in the same industry, uh, even if he's working for a different organisation, get on the phone and have a yak with them, and you know, mm -hmm. 
uh, it, it, crying your beer over it, whatever the case may yeah. be, just just to lighten the load a little bit and understand that you're not the only one just because there's pressure being applied to you. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think that's a that's a good point for people to also take note of as well. That I mean, even if you're, I mean, because I know you guys in in Melbourne right now are under pretty severe lockdown, but it yep. it doesn't mean that you can't connect with other people. Like you can do Zoom, like we're doing right now, or do a phone call or whatever. But you don't have to suffer alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. So, yeah, well done. yeah. So what are some of the what are some of the other ways that you can um, start to rebuild your confidence and your self esteem when you're going through a hard time? Well, um, as you can see by my background here, <laughs> I'm yeah. passionate about sailing. So one of the things that I, I you know, I, I'm just, I'm just feel like that, that I'm, I, I'm in my world when I'm out there on the ocean. You know, the, the mm -hmm. motion of the ocean and and the wind through your hair. It's it's cleansing. It's clean. You're close to nature because of, there's birds and dolphins and and what have you around. So uh, that, that's one of my things. If I can get out and sail, it's a great thing to do. Um, and, and it sort of gives me a, a refresh, a fresh look on life for the next week or so when I'm out Yeah, there. And, and that's why I think it's important for people that, you know, so even if you can't do your chosen hobby at this stage, I mean, I think uh, maybe, maybe it's not uh, something that's uh, available to you right now. There are still other things. I mean, you can still get out there. You can still go out and walk. You can get in, in nature. Yeah. You can change your environment. Um, you know, there's a lot of things you can do. And I think that's that's incredibly important is to take yourself out of the element every so often. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, you know, I love gardening too. So that's another great therapy is, is to get into the garden and, uh, you know, swear at the bugs that are eating your vegetables and yeah. <laughs> get a bit of that pent out, um, aggro out of your system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and then and then once once you kind of get yourself out of that m mood, right, and you sort of get yourself reset a little bit, what are some of the things you can do then to maybe redouble your efforts and and sort of start to get yourself back on a success track? Uh, yeah, 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 no, no, that's that's great. So so then I, I think then you, you know we've got to get focused and we've got to be productive and we've got to have a purpose in life, and, mm -hmm. and that's generally you know to do with our our. our you know, earning of our dollar and 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 achieving something for ourselves through what we do and what we do best usually. So the thing then I get is is instead of sort of sort of looking at this this sheet of figures that says, my God, our sales are down twenty five percent. How am I ever going to get that up? Look at it and say, well, okay, let's let's come up with one small project that we can do that'll list Start to lift the sales, no, not look at 25%, look at 1%. Something small, but a good project that gives us purpose and we can aim at that 1%, you know, because there's only 25 1% projects in 25%. Mm -hmm. So we can look at the small and take the small spot steps. You know, that old saying that, you know, how do you eat an elephant? Well, one bite at a time, like you eat anything else. So it's... Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. I think that's that's a way of going about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you, and I think that if there's one thing that we have been taught probably by this pandemic is that our our horizons we need to shorten our horizons on things, and as you say, is take them more incrementally because I um, mean, obviously, if you were doing two or three year plans before, now you're doing two or three months, maybe six month plans right now, and so I think there's a good lesson in there, as you say, is if you want to get back on track if you want to progress is to do it in in manageable sizes because let's face it right now you can't you can't plan a a, a year-long project right now that'd be madness uh, no no it's it's important well look you know all our great leaders have got no idea what's going to happen tomorrow and never have had for that matter but they like to have led us <laughs> to believe that they, they did uh, so, yeah, so yeah. you know it's very difficult for us to be able to um yeah, our, they are our great leaders, according to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think, but I do think there is a there is there is a lesson in there for everybody, though. Is that um, is that obviously like life is full of unknowns, but but the fact is that I think people have a greater capacity in themselves to overcome obstacles than they really think, because I think it's been shown here that 
at the beginning, you know, people were looking around and saying, like, who's going to solve this big world issue? And they realized that nobody have a clue what they're doing. So, yeah. I mean, so therefore, I hope that gives people confidence in their own lives to think about, you know, I probably have more within me to take control of my own life than perhaps I ever realized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and look, you know, some great philosopher once said that, that everything's invented. You know, and, yeah. and, and so, you know, uh, if you're a parent, remember the time that you had your first child and you, you had to invent everything, even the, all the books you read, all the advice you took, it still didn't bloody help much, did it? You know, you still had to invent it at the time and, and learn through this invention and ex, uh, fail and, and experiment and learn so that you know next time what to do. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I think life's very similar, isn't it, in that... that, that you know, we, we've just got, sometimes we've just got to invent something and go forward. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I, I love that analogy because I do. I mean, I do remember for myself and that's why when anybody I know when they're having their first child or whatever, I never offer advice. Because I'm like, you know, because I think back to that time with all the advice that was offered and then you really end up with just you, you know, with my wife and the baby going, all right, we better figure this out. <laughs> this isn't, and this isn't working like the book said. So <laughs> yeah. what, what else can we do? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I do think, so I do think there's a, there's a, you know, a certain silver lining and that I hope that this, this collective global experience, I hope it gives people a little bit more, uh, as I said, self-reliance maybe, and, and maybe yeah. confidence to do things themselves, realizing that, it's been shown like when, when the chips are down, uh, you know, nobody, you know, there's, there's no great saviors out there. So you might as well save yourself. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Look, um, y y we're all pioneers. Mm -hmm. So if we think back to how those pioneers conquered the West and, and, and conquered the outback or, or whatever it was that they conquered and, and moved forward, just them and, and their family and, possibly nothing else but the clothes on their back and, and a sharp axe in their hand. And, and yet they went out there and did it and, and, and made our nations as great as they are. And, and so we all have that spirit in ourselves. So we can all move forward in that positive aspect. We're going to carve a, a niche for ourselves in this world and, and make it a better world for ourselves. Yeah. And, and that's the, why I'd... the greatness starts to come from that. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I think it's a great time for, you know, for salespeople and that and sales leaders, maybe they're struggling a bit and maybe to turn this, to turn it around a little bit and say, to your point there, to say, this is my opportunity to to do something that nobody else has done before. We haven't had a situation like this. So for me to find a way forward, like with that pioneer spirit and actually carve out a, a good result out of this you know, that's going to be, that's something like nobody's really ever done in this situation that I am in right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it, it's new to everyone. Absolutely every, everyone on the, in the world because we haven't lived long enough to have experienced it previously. We don't want to live long enough to experience it again either. No, However, thank you. <laughs> you know, why not make the most of it if, if you possibly can? And if you're one of the lucky ones that you're not bedridden, uh, mm -hmm. then just a little bit of personal hygiene and, and care for yourself and, and forge forward and grab that opportunity, make the most of it. Yeah. yeah and, I, and I like that idea, the pioneer spirit, because I think that's exactly what people need is to say, you know, this is, this is uncharted territory and I better bring out, bring out your, in, bring out your inner pioneer. Yeah. 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 Keep moving forward. Excellent. Yeah. 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 So, so what other last pieces of advice would you have for for people to really kind of grasp this moment now and make it really work for them as best they can? Well, I think the first thing we've got to do is is, is not um, struggle and look forward and look, look to find some kind of thing that's going to be there for them. Because mm -hmm. the harder you look for these, the, the more difficult they seem to find. So, uh, I, I, you know, again. I go back to my gardening and my sailing and things that I enjoy doing and relax and, and just allow it, you know, and, and I find questions are great. Uh, I even, I use questions a lot, particularly when I'm speaking mm -hmm. because that, that element of fear is there. So I'll always throw questions to my, what can I say and do that's going to help these, this audience 
um, get this message nice and clearly and, and let my body and let my mind come up with those solutions. So it's the same if I'm out in the garden, I'll be thinking about, okay, where can I find this next opportunity? What's going to make itself available to me? Um, how can I use my resources to the best effect to move forward? Little things like that. And it doesn't have to be a, a world breaking thing. And come back to the 1% again, that one mm -hmm. small hinge swings a massive, great big door. And so once you get your, into one small thing and start to move forward, then it'll open up and expand itself to you. If you don't take that one small opportunity, as little as it may seem at the time, then the rest that can't open up. And yeah, so no, I, I think I think that's I, yeah. I think that's a perfect way of putting it, uh, Terry, because I do think that um, maybe pre-pandemic or something, you know, we gotten so caught up in this networked world and all of this cycle like and and social media and everything that everything is seems so much grander than it is but when you pull it as you say when you bring it back to to just doing like the simple things that really make a difference and i think again that could really help people because i think a lot of people have lost sight of of simplicity and and thinking that everything has to be on a grand scale and when things are on a grand scale you rarely actually achieve anything and nobody really actually does anything but it's nice to talk about it. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it's nice to dream it. I think you've got to have that dream, in, you know, in you that you 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 want to be prosperous. You want to have a happy family. You 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 want some nice things in your life. As much as material things might not be the greatest thing and might not necessarily give you happiness, it's still nice to have them, isn't it? It's not nice, still mm -hmm. nice to have the money to to go on a nice holiday and enjoy it with your family. So. Uh, your dreams are, are, are what drives us forward, which keeps us moving all the time forward. So I think, you know, keep your dreams alive, but just be prepared to, to take it little, to start with, a, a little steps at a time and, yeah. and, and grow. A, a seed only grows, you know, a plant only grows from a tiny seed, but can feed you. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, grab it. Yeah, no, I think that's I think that's a great piece of advice. Is um, absolutely hold on to your dreams, but realize that achieving your dreams is putting one foot in front of the other, mm -hmm. and and sometimes it's just those it's 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 just a series of small careful steps that get you there. But you got to take the steps. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, listen, this has been great, Terry. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, all of Terry's information being his uh, contributor bio below this video. But before we go, do tell people a little bit more about yourself and what you do. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not really good at speaking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I like to talk about other things than me. Look, I, I'm a, as you can see, I'm, I'm very young and handsome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like myself, yeah. Uh, and, and I'm a grandfather of a couple of kids uh, and we're separated from them because of the conditions at the moment. My mm. daughter has a, a grandson in Sweden and mm. my son has a granddaughter at the other side of uh, Melbourne where I can't access them. We're limited to five kilometres radius from our home, so that's a pain in the neck and we're only allowed four reasons to go out and they're not, there's not much in that. So. Uh, I, as I said, I love my ocean sailing uh, and I've been doing that since I've been a, a little tacker and, and I'll, I've continued that throughout my life because it's just one of those things where I connect with, with the, the ocean and I connect with nature uh, in a great way. Uh, I, I, I love my gardening as well, I, particularly as you can hear, I, I'm not short of words, so I, I don't mind speaking in public either. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is it's it's great, uh, Terry, and and I would uh, encourage you to check out Terry's bio here. That would be as I said below the video. Listen, um, thanks very much. You're going to get out on the. Can you go out sailing right now? No. Well, we're not allowed to, John. The government that's, said no. Yeah, that's not what yeah. I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I couldn't admit to anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Not on not on a public forum. Well, anyway, listen. I hope you get out on the ocean soon, and I hope I hope all those. Uh, Thank you. I'd like to yeah. pray for those you know lockdowns to pass soon, and everybody to be able to reconnect again. 
Uh, my name is and, John and Gold. The main thing is that people keep safe and look after themselves yeah, sure. and their own health, regardless of you know other stuff that's been uh, jammed down your throat, uh, and and just just focus on that and focus on a goal at the end that you can get out and enjoy and and and, and live life. Yeah, for sure. Uh, my name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine, Pipeliner CRM. Thanks very much, Terry. And I'll see you all for another expert interview really soon. Thank you. Yeah.